Drake posted this video about three weeks ago. I'm not gonna play it. You know, copyright and all that shit, just in case. But uh, the caption says, I've been around the world thrice times. I mean what I say. That's a push a T lyric for the true hip hop heads that don't know. That's a push a T lyric. Now, Pusha T is dropping an album coincidentally soon. I heard rumors it was going to be in March. I heard it was going to be in April. I heard it was going to be in May. I don't know. Considering the fact that Kanye is allegedly dropping an album next week, it may not drop in March. But who knows? I don't know. I'm not in the good music camp. Uh, I don't work at Def Jam. I don't work for good music. I never met Kanye or Pusha T. So I don't know. What I do know is this. The fact that Drake used a Pusha T lyric on an Instagram caption almost seems like how Drake felt in 2018 is no longer a feeling today. He said he would never get cool with Ye. He got back cool with Ye. He never said that he wouldn't get cool back cool with push, but he said those people. So I'm assuming either the whole good music as a whole or Kanye and push. So when he said, I have no, I think the, the exact term was, I have no um, desire to squash anything with those people or, or something to that nature. That was in 2018. We saw he squashed it with Kanye. I look at the, him using this line in the song, um, uh, this this caption from the Pusha T song. I almost look at it like maybe he might squash you with Pusha T, and they may have a song on Pusha T's next album. Now Pusha T's album was gonna be called "It's Not Dry Yet," but I heard the title change to "Coke's Not Dry Yet." The coke's not dry yet, or coke's not dry yet. I don't know if that's true neither. That's just something I heard. If I hear it different, I'm gonna get back at y'all and update y'all. But I'm excited for the Push the T album, man. If you know me, you know I've been a Push the T fan since grinding. So I'm excited for the Push the T project. He said it's gonna be 12 songs, which is five more than the last album that only had seven. I hate that Kanye only let him do seven. Um, but it made me want more. So, and then that album came out three years ago. So I've been anticipating some new Pusha T since then. And also Pusha T wanted like 12 on the last album. So the fact that he can get like 12 the, to the fact, so the fact that he can get 12 on this one is, is a blessing for all Pusha T fans, including myself. Like I said, I've been listening to Pusha T since grinding. I feel like he's one of the greatest lyricists ever. Um, yeah, do y'all think Drake is going to be on um, Pusha T's album? I'm more 60, I'm 60, 40 with it. You know, 40% of me feel like he is. Another 60 feels like Drake's not going to be on it. But I feel like it ain't no coincidence that he did this caption on Instagram around the same time Pusha T started to promote Coke's Not Dry Yet or It's Not Dry Yet, whatever the title of the album is going to be. But uh, yeah, y'all let me know, man. Shout out to Pusha T, shout out to Kanye, shout out to Drake, shout out to squashing beef, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to squashing issues that don't get that, you know. Um, I'm, I'm very against squashing beef once blood has been shed, but there's no blood shed in this situation. So I totally am for squashing beef when it's just words. And I'm glad it was just words, you know, as far as, you know, I know it's just words. So I'm glad words can be squashed. But anyway, man, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Shout out to Pusha T. Can't wait for the new album, uh, Diet Coke. Is a dope song, dope video that uh plays off flavor in your ear. The music video, Biggie, Craig Mack, and uh 
Puff, and I think another person's on that song. Was it Busta Rhymes or LL Cool J? I forgot. But yeah, it's uh, Biggie and Craig Mack for sure, flaming in your ear. So yeah, shout out to all of them, man.